Frisco. According to NFL Network, the Dallas Cowboys forged a new contract extension with Randy Gregory over a week ago. And yet, here we are, with no official announcement. Why? Because, from what we can gather, the NFL's eyeballs aren't yet satisfied enough with it to make it official. The deal itself is in part offering up a grand show of support for the future of presently suspended defensive end Gregory, though it does not come in the form of piles and piles of cash, this is another thing. And I can come up with three reasons to justify this, another thing, but first, to the concept of a delay, first discussed by Brian Broaddus with Ben. Fan, the story is that the unusual nature of the contract, and maybe the unusual timing, too, is causing the league to take a hard look at it before rubber stamping it into approval. We're not being alarmist about it, the three reasons for doing it, as we outline below likely still stand. But there's just enough of a red flag for the NFL to put it on hold, at least, momentarily, so there's just enough reason for us to write about it. Now to the details of the proposed deal, the Cowboys are planning to extend the contract of the off-troubled 26-year-old pass rusher, per NFL Network, the team converting $310,000 of Gregory's 2019 salary to a signing bonus and tacking on to his existing deal another year, for 2020, worth $735,000. It can be assumed there are incentives to be earned there, too, largely based on not only Gregory's productivity, he had six sacks in 2018, but also on his availability, he has, since coming out of Nebraska as a second-round pick, spent most of his career under the suspension thumb of the NFL, but... Number 1, the $735,000 is a wildly affordable way to keep contractual control of a player Dallas believes has all-star abilities as a pass rusher. There has been some debate, due to the series of extensions, as to whether Gregory was to be restricted or unrestricted after this season. I'm still checking on the Cowboys' official word there. But in either event, he's clearly under contract for 2020 now, and on the cheap. Number 2, the Cowboys also believe in Gregory as a person, and that is part of this, too. Additionally, it is the position of the Gregory camp that his 2018 campaign was one of great behavioral success but included one stumble that has placed him back on the commissioner's suspended indefinitely list. There is actually some hope among Gregory supporters that this latest suspension may not cut into his game availability at all in 2019 as the NFL increases its awareness of the use of marijuana by those with mental health issues. And while the Cowboys recently chased some insurance against another Gregory failure, the trade last week with the Miami Dolphins for defensive end Robert Quinn likely puts Quinn at the top of the depth chart at right end, with Gregory behind him, this contract move gives Dallas more insurance of a different sort. No. 3, and to a very fine point of dollars and cents, I believe that Gregory, who hasn't been able to pocket all of the money that was a part of his original $4 million contract, is working to keep his financial life afloat. That $310,000 signing bonus presumably goes straight to his pocket, straight to his bank, and maybe straight to some waiting debtors. Meanwhile, that's $735,000 in 2020. Maybe there is a way Jerry Jones can hand that to Gregory even in the event he stumbles again, the owner wishing to grant support to a struggling person who he cares about. This is presently Gregory's fourth suspension for a violation of the league's substance abuse policy. The Cowboys have pledged their belief in him and their support of him is, to quote coach Jason Garrett, get his issues under control, Randy Gregory's issues are not yet under control. But assuming this deal is approved by the league, he will now be under contractual control of the Cowboys for another year, with cash in his pocket, meaning maybe both sides are showing some faith in each other.